Right, here we are, having a little play today, leaving the BFR 750 alone because I'm waiting for bits. So we're going to play with this little CG125 I bought for £20 really. I bought two bikes, sold the other one for everything minus £20, so that's what this stands me in. Give you a quick rundown of what I know about it so far. So it will not turn. That's completely wedged in. So I think that's where we're going to start. Let's give it a go. Okay, here we go. Sounds like if it will move. Oh. Oh. That's making some grinding noises. But it is going. See if I can feel any compression. It's starting to ease up a little bit. Where's the spot plug off? There we go. I can hear something. Yeah, I've got a little bit of compression there. Starts free. Let's bring it to this side. So, in turning that over a bit, the kickstar I've just lint on it as I got up. see if I can clean it up on a wire brush and um, see if we can get a spark for it at least go from there giving the spark plug a little brush over on the wire wheel it's looking a bit better so let's put that in there can you see that tell me if you see a spark Spark there. Is it there? Okay, no spark. Mm, don't think I've got another spark plug. So, this is the box of bits I got with the CG125. eBay. Uh, I'm just going to go through and see if I can find some of the loom to get it to give it a go through on kickstart because I don't really know what I'm doing. So, uh, 
let's find some bits and see what they do. I'm going to guess this is the majority of our loom. There's not much to it. We'll have a look and see where we get from here. This should be fun. Well, this isn't going to help, is it? Just moved this out. Just thought I'd check. That I had continuity through this, and it just fell off. It just fell off with the spark plug in. So I'm going to cut this back. It's all corroded away. That doesn't look great, but we'll see if we can connect the spark plug again. Let's see if we have any more luck. If I can find where the spot plug is. Oh, wait. Where the bloody hell are you? Well, this is now starting to become a real adventure. We've got some fantastic wire in there coming up to a bit more fantastic wire in there. into a load of cut wires and various bits some more cut wires here then the loom seems to come unmolested if you will back to here down here this seems okay we only seem to have one set of wires for the CDI unit. We've got this rusty old load of crap here. Various other bits, and that goes off the back, and the rear of it seems to be pretty good. But the front end, oh my god. So. This is going to be fun. I might just look into like kickstart only running this bike. We'll see. See if I can find a wire, wiring diagram that does away with all this crap. And just cut it all out. Off we go then. Help, please. Since I'm having a merry old nightmare here with all these wires, Ooh, pretty colours, pretty colours. Um, I've decided I'm actually going to pop this cover off here. I think it's that side. Check the points. Try and find a way around all these electrics to just get a spark. That's all I'd like, it's a little spark. Just a little spark. Let's take that off. Right, we're back on this. So I've been having a little bit of play with the wire and trying to get through it. Um, I've basically just gone by colours here. Black and yellow coming off the coil there. Running all the way down. I just cable tied all this loom out of the way. Um, I, uh, got your neutral switch coming out here and these wires coming up into the CDI. Now I found out that that was only supposed to have the one where's the CDI? It is only supposed to have that four pin wire going into the CDI. It doesn't have this two pin, so that's pretty good. So everything's kind of loosely cable tied out of the way here. But what I did was I disconnected on here we've got a green and red I disconnected this plug here, connected my uh, volt meter here, and when I was kicking it over, there was a signal coming through. So, essentially, what I've done is I've come up here, cleaned all the rust off here to get an earth, because there's supposed to be an earth contact on this coil here, and I'm now at the point. Where I'm going to kick it again with the spark plug in to see if I've got a spark. 
So I thought I'd turn the camera on and we can see if we've got a spark. So let's get that ready to go. Right, so I've got the spark plug on the case there. Let's give it a kick. Let's see if I can get my hands out of the way and we can see if we have a spark. Can you see that? I saw a spark there. No. That's definitely sparking. I hope you can see that. Let's try that. No, that's too. Hopefully, we can see that we do have a spark. So, the next thing I'm going to do, I suppose, is put the spark plug back in. Give it a squirt of uh, engine crack and uh, see if we can get it to kick over. Let's do it. Right. Spark plug. Engine crack. Let's see. Onwards and upwards. So the next job I want to do is uh, take this carb off because I don't know what state that's going to be in. Give that a strip down and clean. Try not to lose all the bolts. Let's give that a strip down. See what kind of state that's in. Alright, let's strip the carb. This is where we get pissed on. 
with the old stinky fuel. Just something cleaner, I suppose. As I've said many times before, I don't know what I'm doing. I just make a diary of my mistakes so someone else doesn't have to make them. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Trying to push that down. Does that fit? out of there now. Get the needle out. Let's find something to know that out. Corroded. Inside of the carp's all furry. Yay. Mmm. Right, let's chuck it in the ultrasonic cleaner anyhow. Worst comes to the worst, we've got a carburetor for spares and we'll buy a new one. Providing they're not too expensive because 
I'm not a rich man. Let's undo that just so uh, when it's cleaning, everything's getting cleaned. Yeah, that's grim. That is nasty, nasty. It definitely looks like oil in the bottom there, though, doesn't it? Hmm. Right, in the ultrasonic cleaner he goes. Oh. Let's take the seal off first. Is that going to come out? Don't break, don't break. Yeah, right, let's finish stripping this down, get all the hoses and the plasticky bits off. What am I talking about? You idiot, Danny. That just needs cleaning up. That's not the throttle at all, is it? The throttle's in the top here. Uh oh, it's early. Oh, where did that come from? Dun, dun, dun. We'll find it. Let's get these hoses off and throw it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, let's chuck these bits in the ultrasonic cleaner. Might have to turn that round halfway. I've only got a little, little ultrasonic cleaner. And all the bits and bits. There you go. Yeah. Leave that going for a little while. Anyway, I laid the carbs off. They're soaking in the ultrasonic cleaner now. Um, found a tin of black heat paint. So I had a little play on the engine to get some black on there to get an idea of what I wanted and then I found that seat in the garage and them handlebars I'm kind of getting an idea of what I want the bike to look like I've cut the back end off I'm, I'm contemplating a nose cone I am contemplating a nose cone bigger tyres, knobblies single headlight, single clock And that's kind of where we're going to end up. I think that's going to kind of do us for this week. So cheers for watching. See you soon.